Hello guys, how's it going? Screenzilla here, I hope you're all well. So, as you can probably see, this is a bit of a strange tank to have in War Thunder, isn't it? Don't see many T-64s around in the game. Yes, well, this is a fantastic mod by Beckett. Um, it's available at War Thunder Live, it's the T-64BB main battle tank. Um, I will put a link to it in the description below. Uh, absolutely amazing work. It comes with a uh, test track, test range, so this is where we're at at the moment. And it's just beautifully modelled, as you can see. Um, absolutely fantastic job he's done on this tank. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, you have the Solid Shot APCR. the hull shape charge and you also have ATGMs but the most interesting part of this vehicle is on the outside and that is the reactive armour and that's what I'm going to be doing a video about today so what is reactive armour? we're going to be hearing a lot about it in the future uh, for the next couple of weeks and months and probably to the end of the year we're going to be hearing a lot about it because in patch 1.71, I think, the upcoming mega patch that's coming up, we're getting tier 6 vehicles. With tier 6 vehicles, we're getting tier 6 tanks. With tier 6 tanks, we're getting more modern vehicles. With more modern vehicles, we get ERA, Explosive Reactive Armor. Now, if you look you can sort of see the gaps around the armour where the ERA sits and you can sort of see it, it's around the weak points of the tank it doesn't completely cover the tank but it sits on some of the weaker points, weaker spots generally uh, although there is none on the lower glacius which is one of the weakest points of this tank I think the upper part of this tank has something like 600 millimeters of armour uh, which is a fair whack so what we have here is a T62 and a T64. What we're going to do is we're going to fire directly into this T64 with our whole shape, our whole, our, our shape charged armor, our, not armor, shape charged um, round. And as you see, the T64, T62, sorry, does not like that very much. Now we're going to do the same to the T-64. We'll line up our shot. And we'll fire. And boom. Look what happens. The round does not penetrate. If you look, you'll see the reactive armor has disappeared. A great piece of modelling here, because reactive armor is not reusable. And when it comes to live, it won't be reusable. Um, maybe you'll be able to rearm it in a um, cap circle or something like that. So, what exactly is explosive reactive armour? Well, ERA was actually first proposed and first played around with um, in around about 1949 uh, by the Russians. Uh, the first pre production models of it, it came around in the 1960s. However, insufficient theoretical analysis, uh, uh, analysis d d during one of the, the tests resulted in all of the prototype elements being blown up basically um, and after this accident, accident the Soviets um, believed they had sufficient armour with their IS-6s and IS-2s you know the Russian armour was generally very very thick to begin with so they thought well we have enough there to, to be done with However, in the um, late 60s, West Germany was also researching um, explosive reactive armour and started to produce it for their tanks, like the Leos and things like that. And it basically found its way onto all manner of tanks um, from every nation you can think of because it's a relatively cheap, relatively easy add-on. Now, as you can see, the way it sits on this vehicle, it's just slapped on there, basically. It's not... It's not produced with it, it's not something that comes as standard, it's just placed on there. 
The easiest way to describe it is imagine a C4 charge placed between two slabs of metal. That's pretty much what we've got here. So now we've blown that piece of armour off, let's fire again at the front. And we don't go through here because we do have a ridiculous amount of armour on this tank. Um, we'll switch to the uh, solid shot and see what happens there. And again, we don't really go through. However, if we fire at the turret, let's fire... Um, Let's fire a sh solid shot at the ERA on the turret. Again, we're not penetrating there. Okay, well what about the side? Now we're going to switch to our shape charge here. Uh, we'll just get rid of the um, solid shot there. Because we want to use the shape charge for this test. Another interesting little bit is we do have a couple of helicopters over here. Um, which is kind of cool to see. So, with Sidon. Now, Sidon, we will be able to penetrate. Now, this is a shape charge, so we're going to fire Sidon. We do nothing. We damage the track, but that's it. We're going to switch to APCR now. And we're going to fire again. Let's fire at this section here and see what happens. We go through and we cause a lot of damage, but not as much damage as if, as would have happened if the plate wasn't there. Now we'll fire again into this spot where the ERA was and see what happens without it. The tank is destroyed extremely quickly. So simply, what ERA does is it actually explodes. Um, so. Newton's law of every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When a projectile comes and hits the um, hits the ERA, basically what's happening is it's moving forwards. Then all of a sudden, the ERA explodes and causes a force in the opposite direction. It also causes a bit of a gap between the tank and the armour. As you can see, there is a bit of air between the ERA and the actual armoured hull. And this is so things like a shaped charge can cool down. Now, we're going to switch back. Uh, we're just going to restart this, just so we have our target again. So what happens is when the uh, charge hits the tank, what will be happening? Especially with a, um, sorry, excuse me, especially with a heat charge or a shape charge, is inside of that charge there is a copper slug basically that melts and will melt its way through the tank. So let's fire side on to this mouse. And as you see, we go straight through with our shape charge. Now it's not a huge amount of damage, but it is penetrated and it's going to cause a lot of damage inside. Now we're going to go for a solid shot here and see if we can penetrate it again, but shoot in relatively the same spot. Now we've gone through and as you see the shrapnel has caused a lot more damage. Now it's a bit tricky with the game because some physics are a little bit wonky. Um, one of the main issues is the fact that it's not completely accurate to size of the holes but you can sort of see there is a slightly bigger hole to the left than there is to the right and basically that's because a shape charge will um, will not leave such a large entry wound uh, but when it goes through you have got molten copper spraying through into the crew compartment and it's not nice for a, a tanker inside of there. Now the other thing that ERA is designed for is ATGMs. So let's um, watch me sacrifice. We need to get a round off. So uh, let's shoot this Leo. Um, so we're going to use an ATGM on the front of the T64 here. Boom. Now that will cause a lot of damage. 
but the damage will have been significantly less because the explosion of the ATGM will be offset by the explosion of the ERA. Fire another shot. As you see, boom, ERA goes flying, but the crew are still safe inside. Let's fire without ERA. Again, the armour does do its job, but the crew are going to be pretty rocked in there. Let's try from the side this time and see if see what happens, basically. Now, you have to bear in mind this is a mod. The ERA is modelled very, very well, but it's still not completely correct. Um, I, I, Honestly, it, the work that Beckett has done for this is fantastic, but, you know, it, it's still using what we currently have in game and it's not all completely 100% correct yet. Um, but basically what happens is the ERA causes a counter explosion and knocks the other explosion away from the tank. There we go from the side. Again quite a lot of damage there, but the ERA has taken a lot of that initial impact away. Fire again, and that time it's not saved it. There is less ERA to, to prevent the explosion going through the tank. All ERA does is explode on impact and cause the explosion to bounce back almost. Now one of the interesting things with this of course is that ERA is an explosion so what will be interesting to me is when they do model it in game is how it works in that respect because if you're sitting next to a lightly armoured AAA ta uh, truck vehicle, or, or, or a truck, anything, um, basically what's going to happen is all the shrapnel from the ERA is going to explode off and go into them, and you're going to have thousands of pieces of metal fragmentating everywhere. So it's going to be interesting to see how um, how ERA works in, respe in respect to the people around it. One of the biggest downfalls of ERA um, is simply the fact it's so dangerous for ally soldiers to be around. Because when, a, when something hits the ERA, it explodes. And as I say, it explodes outwards. So there is shrapnel coming away from the vehicle rather than going into it. So what could possibly happen is when struck by an ERA, that when you strike somebody with ERA, if they're sitting next to another tank, and that tank has very light side armor, or it's parked, say, with its bum facing the the tank with the ERA, it's possible that the shrapnel could actually kill a tank beside you and not yourself. Um, it's very possible that it could kill a uh, kill a vehicle, um, kill a vehicle of. Um, Oh, what am I saying? A killer lighter vehicle, basically. So that's what I'm interested to see when they introduce ERA. But just to sum it up, really, that is how ERA works. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Um, please support this mod because it's fantastic work. Um, as I said, Beckett has done an amazing job. This was actually featured on Fly's channel, uh, Fly Daily. Um, I'm sure if you're watching me, you know who Fly Daily is, but if not, check him out because he's a very good YouTuber and a much better player than I am. Um, but I just wanted to get on and just explain ERA to you all. Okay, guys, I hope you found this useful and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think below. Let me know what you think about modern tanks. Um, let me know what you feel about the T-64 coming into the game, ERA coming into the game. Um, what do you feel is going to happen with the meta of the game um, when ERA comes in live? So we're going to get into a bit of duel here. So as you see, he's managed to penetrate me there through the front. Um, I think he went through my lower glaciers there. Yep. Um, ERA is not going to be a instant win thing. It's not going to save you all the time. There's still going to be. It's still going to be very hard to. Um, to win games with ERA in uh, with ERA basically let's try and protect our lower plate here a little bit a little bit tricky in that position let's try and back up a bit 
Well, we've got some spawn protection on us. There we go. That should protect us a little bit. But as you see here, we're going to get some hits here, and that's with the explosive shape, um, shape charges, basically. So, as I say, ERA is not going to be a instant win thing, but it is going to make life very tricky. Um, you're going to have to actually uh, use different tactics to take people out with it front on. And it's not always going to save your life, as you see here. Now this is, of course, the solid shot, which is much more devastating to an e to, uh, ERA than shape charges. That's one of the big things. Um, so let's just fire a, a shot down range at this guy again. Now we're going to use a solid shot on him. And as you see, the ERA does not protect him nearly as much as it does when firing shape charges. It's going to be a very big uh, boost to... Um, to British tanks, I think, with the, the amount of solid shots that they have. However, Hesh is going to be very useless against it. Um, it's going to make a very big difference to to a lot of things, as I say. It's going to really be a game changer. Uh, as much as a guided missile was when it came in, it really is going to make things very different. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please have a great day, and I will see you next time. This is Squeezilla out. Bye-bye.